Hare Krishna. We'll continue our journey with verses 1.21 and 22 from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sanskrit verses are as follows. Arjuna vacha senayor ubhayor madhe ratham isthapaya me chuta yavad etan nirikshayam yodh kaman avasthitan Kair maya saha yodhavyam asmin rana samudhyame English translation of these verses is as follows Arjun said O infallible one please draw my chariot between the two armies so that I may see those present here who desire to fight and with whom I must contend in this great trial of arms As a pure devotee of the Lord Arjun had no desire to fight with his cousins but he was forced to come on the battlefield by the headstrong Duryodhan who was never agreeable to any peaceful negotiation for the Pandavas it was very very mortifying that they have to fight with their cousins they never wanted such a war even bhim who throughout his forest exile had been breathing fire finally when war became imminent and krishna said he will go as a peace messenger to avoid the war that time bhim said o oh, keshav please try your best to avoid the war and krishna said yes i will try my best but I know Duryodhan he is obstinate he is not going to listen to me also i want the world to know that my devotees have not instigated the war they tried everything possible to avoid the war but still in spite of that the war took place because they were left with no alternatives The greatest extent of Shri Krishna's compassion was when he proposed that the Pandavas can live with just five villages. But Duryodhana's obstinate reply was, "He will not even give enough land, which will be equal to the tip of a needle." Then Shri Krishna said, "War is inevitable." when on the battlefield of kurukshetra arjun instead of fighting desires to observe his opponents he acknowledges krishna's reliability by calling him achut in this verse achut means that the lord who never falls and never fails he never fails in keeping his promise Though Arjun knew that his request was unusual he expressed his confidence that Krishna would not refuse or reject him even if we seek to do something unproductive or counterproductive Krishna doesn't abandon us he unfailingly stays with us through all our choices good or bad who will not take shelter of such a loving and caring lord hare krishna thank you very much if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comments below and of course subscribe for more content on health and lifestyle